All right, up next is the Iron Claw. As a complete outsider to the world of wrestling, I wasn't sure if this film would be something that appealed to me. What I didn't expect was for the film to be a nuanced exploration of familial trauma and the pressures placed on children by their parents. If you're someone who, like me, was unfamiliar with the wrestling world, the film still has a lot to offer, where I expect the family dynamic to be sidelined in favor of the focus on wrestling stories. Instead, the wrestling matches and storylines serve as a way to delve deeper into the relationship between the Von Erich brothers. The film uses all of this to come up with a grounded, relatable narrative about rising above loss and dealing with life's challenges as they come. I wouldn't recommend going into this with the expectation of a happy movie, necessarily. View it as a drama, and if you're someone who doesn't know anything about wrestling, don't worry. There's something for you here. I think the story will be especially moving if you're someone who has multiple brothers. Lastly, I don't want to overlook Zac Efron's performance here as Kevin Von Erich. It's a surprisingly realistic portrayal of grief, something I would not have expected from him considering the last thing I personally saw him in was High School Musical over a decade ago. He's certainly grown as an actor. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. I definitely give this one a recommendation. If you've somehow missed the rest of my top films of 2023 series, check out the playlist down below. Be sure to like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss the rest of these videos and the ones I put out in the future. Thanks for watching and stay copacetic.